process makes art for a lot of sculptors, a lot of artists, I think. You learn a lot in the studio. A lot of us talk about the power of place. I've done a lot of exploring of canyons and mountains. There's a lot of texture out here in the landscape. Our impact on it definitely carries over in my current work. There is a piece that I've done called Canyon Cirque. It relates to walking to the back of a canyon and coming to a place where you can't climb out and there's water pouring over the edge of the canyon. I lived in upstate New York, went to school for four years at Alfred University, came back for two years to Long Island after being accepted to the University of Montana for graduate school, got into metal fabrication and bronze casting at Shadoni Foundry. It allowed me a studio to work with. I was there for 22 years and through that environment you get to meet so many high-powered artists. I met Judy Chicago, Beverly Pepper there. One of the most powerful things that Beverly Pepper ever said to me about patina work, she said, it needs to have a life of its own. What I wanted to do was manipulate the bronze directly. So I would fabricate forms, embed them in an oil-based sand, and pour bronze into that in between these forms. And while the bronze was in its molten state, I would take it and tear it. It produced very organic results. In the process of developing ideas, I call it three-dimensional line drawing. Very quick studies, in a week's time I can produce 10 or 12 pieces. And it allows me the opportunity to see a lot of different ideas. This one piece, uh, right now it's called Swing. It was done out of single sheet steel. Putting them through a three bar roller to shape them. I'm the machine, I'm the motor. <laughs> so it's a workout when you're doing it. The forms are tack welded side by side and just enough to hold it on because my next step is going to be to take this piece apart before I reassemble it for the last time. I'll hand sand them when I'm done, then sandblast the sculpture so it doesn't resist the patina application you're going to be doing. Uh, and then in the case of this sculpture here, I apply liver of sulfur to it, which is a uh, chemical that makes bronze black. Ferric nitrate is the next application I'm going to be putting on it that make the surface dense in some areas and not so much in the other areas. I'll be finishing with copper nitrate which gives it a model green finish. Inevitably, I'm going to come back and highlight a lot of the edges to give some of the forms a little bit more definition. The last thing that I do is wax a piece to help protect it. Your relationship changes with a sculpture when it's larger. By the time you make it 12 feet, it's looking at you. It has a direction to it. Uh, it has a momentum to it. I don't want to do the things that I've done before. I want to try and do something different to uh, manipulate molten glass would be a dream of mine.